we will be telling you about a content creator who is also an actor. She is doing amazing in her field. Her name is Karin Martin. We will also be telling you about artificial intelligence with the beautiful toy bat. And of course, our lovely in-house Gen Zs will be in the studio to talk to us about digital marketing and why people of nowadays prefer digital marketing. Welcome to the program Generation XYZ showing right here on the largest TV network in Africa. My name, as always, is Ehiko Oichu. I am the daughter of Agada and Oyimo. Stay tuned. Please marry me. I cannot marry you. But why? Because I am too young to get married. Mm -hmm. You tell me my life is just starting and you want me to get married. Who does that? Oh, come on, please. You know, love is a golden chain that links our hearts together. Please, if you break this chain, you break my heart forever. Uh -huh. Please marry me. Why did you become a poet? Young man, please take me. Jesus! He you even call me young man. Can we just. Jesus Christ of Nazareth! Where are you? You dead Jones? Come here! Which one you say you're too young to marry me? The time where they pay your school fees, you know too young to collect the money, Abi. You they marry me, Abi. You know they marry me. I will marry you for the rest of my life. I will spend my life with you. I love you so much. I am Tim from Benue. Of course, our traditional black and white is second to none. Aye. I am Tim from Benue. Of course, we are the food basket of the nation. I am Tiff from Benue. Of course, I speak good English. Or would you rather I say, Oh, no, bring it here, no. Put down for ground. No. Oh, please. That the deliverance in Gitiava. Deliverance in Pachi in Gitiava. La Mamma, Daddy, or one word. Deliverance in Gitiava. More deliverance are in Gitiava or room. My vana do I am taught that give vana mean why you are one to film over doubling the house in Yam no longer choir. The beautiful and delectable Karen Martin, dear. Not to worry, we have her on set telling us how she got into this field and how she has amassed such a large number of viewership and followership. If it's something you would like to do, go nowhere, sit down tight, grab a bottle of drink, and enjoy this interview because the beautiful Karen Martin is on our set today. Hello, Uncle Cletus. Uncle Moya playing it do a Valentine. You can yam playing it at the end of the day. Young Ungas, you. When I want you yam, I'm annoying. Once you yam, I'm annoying. I want you as one and now, Uncle. One playing it well, you're not just by a young shoe. I don't know. I got young who should tie yes, Wonga. Now, I never playing it, but I'll be young who should me. Once you ever so on as well. My name is Karen Martins. I'm a graduate of theater at Venue State University. I'm a content creator, an actor, and a comedian from Benue State, um, currently in Abuja. Okay. I've always wanted to be on the screen. It could be acting, it could be creating content, it could be anything. So right from the start, this was something that has always been a part of me. Like if you see me talk, you see me do my things, you know that, okay, this is the direction that this lady is facing. So right then in primary school, I do this whole thing, drama, make people laugh. But I had no idea there was a name for it and all of that. So when I got to secondary school, I started to do it better. I found myself in dramatic club where we create content, we act dramas and all of that. So at that stage, I told myself that, okay, I would want to study something like this in the university and then theater act came in the picture. I got to Benue State University to study theater act. Mind you, this is something that has always been in me. This is, I, I call it talent. So when I went to study theater act, it kind of shaped my thoughts and everything that I wanted to do. So I decided, okay. Why not have your own platform where you make people laugh? Just start your own thing and do your thing and let's see how it goes. That was how I started the Karen Martins TV, creating content, comedy, entertainment, lifestyle, educating. And boom, we are where we are today. And I am excited because I have grown beyond my imagination because 
it was just a young girl who wasn't so sure what she was doing but i was able to pursue that to this extent so i am really excited that we are where we are today so first for me i would say that you should create a niche for yourself you should create a niche for yourself apart from that you should know your audience like when i started i knew that i was creating content that were friendly so content that the young people would enjoy the old people would enjoy and even middle class people so i was able to utilize and take advantage of social media facebook especially because if you look at facebook facebook has different kinds of people on it so when i started you could see me have a um, hundred views 50 views 10 views and it was so discouraging i know a lot of people that give up at this point but the thing there is it is not to give up i i was able to push on and then you need to have people who are interested in your content like i said create a niche for yourself my contents were friendly so i had a lot of people engage the share the shares are very important so sometimes just you posting this content may not be able to get to a lot of people but when people share and others will share like that before you know it you become a household name so that was basically it for me i created a niche for myself i knew my audience so i was creating content that my audience liked and they could relate with and sometimes i didn't even have to ask them that please share they, they knew that oh we should share this content because sometimes it was mostly me trying to pass a message trying to educate and when they see this they're like no no more people need to see this and the share and we go to what we are today having over six million views a thousand and one shares and so on <laughs> okay so the comedy yeah i'll talk about the comedy i knew that um people go through a lot people go through a lot and the least you could do for people when they come online is they should be able to see a piece that makes them laugh so now th there's something about the way i relate in my dialect yes so even if i'm not trying to be funny people find me funny like that was actually how i started you know when i had the whole case of my bum bum falling off then i went to school i was in school then and then i narrated the incident to my friends and they kept laughing if i tell them the story over and over they keep laughing and then one day i said okay let me try sharing this story out there and then see how people react to it and boom i just kept my camera and then i was sharing the story of the whole bomb bomb falling off a workroom and that was it people could so i started the whole monologue that was the monologue just me talking and people finding me very funny but as i grew i said to myself why not expand do something drama not just you because i wanted to see how i could bring people in and not just me alone so i tried to expand to create more content that could accommodate more people but still stick to passing message entertaining and educating so that was how we had the Karen that does the whole monologue and then the dramatic Karen. I'm looking forward to collaborations with all the big people you could imagine in the industry. I'm looking forward to entertaining people on a bigger stage. I'm looking forward to becoming bigger and bigger and better and i'm looking forward to giving you guys more good laughs and of course i'm looking forward to bringing people together who want to be content creators because i feel like um the, the say the greatest the greatest question is what are you doing for others so i see that people are really interested in content creation and they don't know how to go about it so i'm looking forward to seeing how i could train a few people to become better, to become the next Karen Martins. Okay, so if you want to watch you, how do we get to see you? 
Okay, okay. So you can watch me on my social media platforms, Karen Martins TV on Facebook, Karen Martins TV on Instagram. In fact, I am Karen Martins on all social media platforms. I have a YouTube channel, Karen Martins TV. There you could watch and download my videos. <music>
The Economic Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) is accusing the company, along with two of its executives, with money laundering. While the Federal Inland Revenue Service (FIRS) is charging them for multiple tax evasion. No doubt, the law presumes innocence until proven guilty. So let's see how events unfold in the days ahead. I hope you enjoyed all the information Toy about brought your way on artificial intelligence. And to more ways you can make money, our Gen Z bodies, our in-house Gen Z, you know them, the beautiful Belisha, Vicky, and Adi. They'll be telling us all about digital marketing. Why is it so important nowadays that people use digital marketing in way of adverts? On today's series, with me here, we have Victoria Ajide and Peace Joseph. Digital marketing is influential because of the flexibility, the awareness it creates. Digital marketing can be done in any form. For the fact that the Gen Z, as we all know, spend 24 hours online. What's your take on this? So I feel digital marketing is all about selling your product or, mar or marketing your products digitally through the social uh, media, through the internet at large. We have the likes of Amazon, eBay, different um, platforms on the, on the internet where you can sell such products. Digital marketing has a high influence on Gen Zers. Like I said, if we are comparing digital marketing to the traditional, to traditional marketing, we would see that 90%, 100%, if I may say, of Gen Zers use the digital marketing. One, it's easier, it's accessible. If you could easily get products online without going through a really rigorous, the rigorous stress of going to, or the, using the local way of shopping or walking to a mall or going to a market to buy anything you want to. So, marketers have seen that this is an easier way to market your product to market their produce their product so that is why i would say that digital marketing is the future it's the way to go you can get um products easily it's cost efficient you can also compare and contract the different prices of the products you want online we have um medias like we have um, market apps like jumia we have like uh, medias like um ali express which is a chinese company or uh, rather an asian company and you can get these products for cheap or for a more affordable amount than you will get elsewhere and it will save your time your energy like we all know they say time is money so if you're wasting your whole day going to a normal or a local store to get all those things, you could save that energy by getting products online or ordering, more like ordering products online. So I would say digital marketing is here to stay. Okay guys, so considering all that have been said, what's your opinion on digital marketing and traditional marketing? I prefer the traditional method. And the reason why I don't really fancy the digital method nowadays is that, okay, you order something now, okay, you need it urgently, and your urgently might be within two days, but the delivery dates can be in a week or two plus. Meanwhile, I'll just wear clothes, enter um, transportation and enter the market, and I'll get it for a lesser price sometimes. It might not be authentic, but it's always lesser. So I prefer the traditional way simply because it makes more sense to me. I prefer to see what I want to get and see other options that are there. I'm torn between the, both sides. I am for digital marketing and traditional marketing. I enjoy using them interchangeably. Yes, I can always walk into a store and get what I want, pay for the product I want, see the quality of the product and buy it okay. rather than scrolling online. I do that when I'm free or when I'm busy. 
too busy to walk into a store okay. and you know they say retail is therapy so yeah <laughs> so i could always go walk into a store and get whatever i want to get yeah. but on the other hand when i'm really busy or if i need something urgent i just have to order it online, online. yeah that's fair enough. yeah but the only problem the slight the slight problem here is that there are a lot of scam pages on social media and fraudulent companies that's why we have issues like what i ordered versus this what, what I, I got, got. Yeah. yes yeah. and it's always disheartening yeah we should not go through that whole stress of buying a product and then what you get is not what you want or that it's, considering it's so the fact wrong. that you're getting it for, for such an amount, amount. Yes. yeah and sometimes the amount are always outrageous they're very outrageous okay so in my opinion i'm also on the fence of digital marketing and traditional marketing digital marketing in the sense that i love the fact that it is flexible no stress it saves time because if you're going to shop online you have to be detailed that is the essence of digital marketing being detailed if you're picking your size it has to be your size if this quality it has to be this quality so luckily for me i have never had the experience of what you other versus what versus what you get i think in my own words i will go for digital marketing the whole time okay, so that's a wrap on to this segment on digital and traditional marketing as we got to this gen z stay with us on the next series we have something really interesting for you your host the body belisha thank you bye you thought that was how i was going to end obviously i won't leave you hanging like that and unfortunately, this is the much we can take on the program for today. But I want to believe that we have entertained you, enlightened you, and also inspired you. Remember, my name is Ehikawaichu. I am the daughter of Agatha and Oji.